This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring you the biggest sentiment stories, have lifestyle conversations, and of course, make you bring you up to date, basically. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olu What's good? What's good? What's good? How's it going? Good. Good. <laughs> good. 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 Yeah, good. Okay. That's all we can say, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, moving on to the conversation um see big brother niger 2020 and um twitter reacted yesterday a whole lot i think they are still reacting self so lake mm. kid wire lucy nengi v and shikiti are all up for eviction mm. mm -hmm. so and erica to... won head of house yes I was god of erica was trending <laughs> it was mm. trending god of erica i was very happy about that yeah okay so what do you think, think is going to happen how do you feel about the nominations well i just um I feel with this new twist that Big Brother is bringing into the whole game, but we never expected the people that went home last week. Okay, maybe we expected Watoni, mm. but um, we did not expect Brighto. You know, it was by Lord, votes now. Eh? Last week, Vision was by votes. I know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, Lord Bailey, she didn't expect him to leave. We didn't uh, expect... Vision even bottom to bottom for yeah. a while. And um, what's her name? Tolani Badge, too, came as a surprise to many. Maybe the only person, not because she didn't play the game right, but, but because... Been, but she didn't yeah, get votes. Yeah, she's, she's been... She's been there severally but the other two people they've never been there no, Tolani Tolani's yeah, yeah. been there but not so much you mm. get and it, it came as a surprise to many so with this new twist you know uh, funny enough I was outside yesterday doing a vox pop on people predicting their winners for Big Brother Niger and um, what's it called now and who they think and if they think it's a negative influence and all of that and a lot of people after I think after Sunday it had a lot of effect on me. They said with the way things are right now, I can't predict the winner. Mm. Okay, I can tell you Prince today now, but by Sunday Prince is out. Yeah, I think if you were going know. to pre predict, I think it's with, it would be easier to predict predict the last four, mm. not, not who winner. will be winning the yeah. money. And there's lots of there's lots of um, twists and turns. Yeah, and a lot of factors are considered on lock as well, mm -hmm. so it's hard to be able to do that. So what do you think about um, Kid and Nick? I, was say, I knew mm -hmm. that Kid was going to be up for eviction because he's not the greatest communicator, especially when it comes to mass communication. Like, when he starts to talk to the masses, the way he... What's the word? The way he can be a bit blunt. Someone said on Twitter that, oh, he's not rude, he's just rich. I'm Sorry for yourself. He's rude, period. So I, I, was, I was very sure that he was going to be up for eviction. I dare to differ, But then... But then, what's it called? The the category of people that are there, I think it's now getting a lot easier to now tell who's going to go home. Because I know Kid and Nengi are most likely safe. Um, so Did you see where Lekon, Kid was on the graphics <laughs> last week? No, but now that he's up for eviction. Okay, and think they're, that they're, they're telling us efforts, to save. Right? Uh, come on. And the size is rich. Yeah, so it's not yeah. as money is the problem. And there's no way. Well, at least I know Leko is safe because he has, I don't know how Leko he gathered those fans. I don't v know what they're seeing him, but V is not safe. He's but safe. V's people are, have energy. Even though this week already, it's only Tuesday, they've been they've been coming out to confess that, yes, this baby is a bit too much because she's too much in her feeling. So I don't know if they're going to wrap She wrap can't take it. what she dishes. No, she really can't. And it's very pissing. Um, and maybe Tricky T. Tricky T has been doing well too in terms of like gathering new he's fans. Improved. I yeah. think he will be going really home. Improved. But I think he's going home. I think I'll, I'll put my money on V and Tricky T. But I'm, 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 I'm I won't put my surprised. money on anyone, but I dare to differ when it comes to what people are saying about um, Kid? Kid Wire that mm -hmm. um, is, is very rude. I don't think it's rude. You watch rude. the show? Are you sure you watch the show? Have you not seen anyone on the head of house? Abby, uh, so what, what was so, he did that you thought saw as rude? You know what? A lot of people have problems with when you're in a position of power and they think because you make certain decisions or because you feel like we're peers, I have to kiss your behind. Because, mm. Preach it. <laughs> do you understand? Mm. I don't have to kiss your behind <laughs> because we're peers. If I'm in a position of power, I, I would have to make some decisions that would not sit well with everyone well, and it's okay it. This has nothing to do no with no decisions. i'm coming hold on hold okay. on and and it's okay not to not not to for it not to sit well with everyone mm. but at the same time it's also okay for you to express yourself in the best way you think possible without caring whose guts is hurt or whose feelings is hurt sometimes you need to put people but sometimes you also need to communicate certain things to people in a certain way for you to get into their ticks so you're not waiting you're not even letting her answer my question i mean i just wanted to give one instance where 
the, the way he handled it or the way he spoke uh, there's to someone. Too many, and I, I don't, I can't remember one particular thing uh -uh. now. Especially with paraphrasing his words, and I don't want to speak for him. But when he was head of house, mm -hmm. I watched it because he was head of house with Erica, and I like Erica. And I was just noticing, okay, this guy, there's some too many things. But I'm going to say this, though. Be, yeah, not, first of all, um, Kidwa is not the first person to have been head of house, so I use its power. So if your excuse of being lousy with your mouth is because you have power, I, for me, that just, you, you, in a way, you lack immaturity. The, the, I think there's more effort in being careful with uh, making the, making the um, necessary decisions to exude yourself with level of authority that doesn't have to be disrespectful, plain disrespectful. I don't think it was that bad, and a lot of them were quite insensitive, but, I mean, a lot of them were quite sensitive, but he was a bit rude, and like I said, yeah, but I can understand I think why that if, you, if you're using the word rude and lousy for someone and saying that person has been that then a lot of the time, no, I don't, you can't remember... Like, you used to like just now. He's been yeah. that the lot of the time. Yeah. Mm. I said when he was head of house, one week, guys. But you said it was So rude. that was the only period that he yeah, was really allowed to. That's what I'm saying. That's okay. what I'm saying. Uh, listen, but, guys. But it's I'm rude saying, too, right? No, listen. This is not even a personal opinion. I'm saying I'm so, I'm not surprised that what's it called? He's up for eviction because of what happened okay. when he was head of house. Period. Okay. Cool. This has nothing to do with wealth, um, if you we ask me. No, it's not about wealth. No, you, you said that he's not rude, he's rich. Okay. No, I said somebody on Twitter said he's not rude, he's, he's rich. rich. Yeah, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm correcting that person. This has okay, nothing correct. to do with wealth. Correct. It's just a person's personal Okay, let's not talk about the show to Tea Time Big Brother, right? Let's Big move brother. on to the next story, which is another ridiculous Big one. T. When the Shea and Shatawale to celebrate Beyonce's birthday with a banger. So Thank they are you releasing for that introduction. <laughs> Ridiculous. They are releasing a a song, yeah, a single. And um um when the chase says Beyonce is her godmother, well Shatawali is her okay. godfather. So excuse me, excuse me, Ghanaians. I'm not you guys. Excuse me, Ghanaians. Pardon what I'm about to say to you all right now. I lived there for a lot of years, so okay, not a lot, a few years, like at least close to six. And um there's something I really want to say to you guys. You're a whole lot more than you really think you are. Do you understand? Like, you guys can be a whole lot better than you think you are. I think you have an um, inferiority complex. If, wow. Um, You're speaking to the whole of yeah, Ghanaians like Ghanian, this. Not the hey. of, to, the, to the ones that may be concerned. I think you have inferiority <laughs> complex. And I think you need to get over that and work on your self-esteem. Beyonce does not deserve a birthday celebration no disrespect to the queen bee as well but at the end of the day she doesn't deserve it from them from, not from them not because of shatawali was featured then in that case we should have a recross birthday song a doctor uh, a drake birthday song we should have do you know how many artists will be doing birthday but, songs but this is people. how they feel about it that this is how they, they want to expect i mean two people yeah uh, yeah, two people. So I know Ghanaians will come for me, but I'm just saying from living there, and if you really want to be honest with yourself, you would know that what I'm saying. Maybe you should just focus on Wendy and uh, Shatawali and leave um, everybody out of it because I don't want to believe uh, uh, the whole of Ghana. Even if the whole have of, got okay, that kind well, of mindset. This is just personal. Have you people been to the comment section? They, they egging them on like, go. Yes, yeah. because I don't think there's anything wrong with having somebody that you admire so much that you that has influenced you greatly, and you want to um, what's it called? Express that. Uh, Americans Americans have set up a church for Beyonce. A church. Do, do Americans have? Americans do Americans have? Um, what's it called? Did. Uh, no, 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 she did not um, put up the church. She's not even, she's not, she's not even make um, your point, yeah. passes, um, like mm. the idea. They put up a church. They've given her church awards. P people have come to give her awards from universities that she didn't even attend. Mm -hmm. There's nothing But wrong. I like the fact you when, said American. She's American, right? It doesn't really matter. It does. And it's not just America. It's every other place in the world. For you to now outrightly say that people have inferiority complex because they are, um, um, what's it called? I'm highly generally by from someone. Being, from leaving there. Because what? They like other people and they give um, accolades to that. There's nothing wrong. But well, I thought you Continue lived in Ghana. Your, yes, I did. And I don't agree to that. That's what I'm saying. Well, I would love to hear what this single is going to sound like. That's September 6th, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah? Mm. So, um, I would love to see. Maybe, oh, maybe, oh, okay, fuck Saturday. off September. So, maybe that would um, <laughs> help Wendy Shea's career, I guess. Because Shatawale <laughs> is doing good. Mm. So I'm hoping that this collaboration would help Beyonce, boost that. If you hold on now, and he's she's very happy about <laughs> it. She's even thanking her godfather. She said this is spiritual. So I really want to see what they would achieve with this. If there is a video, I'm hoping there will be a video so they can idolize her the way they want to. And I'm also hoping that she gets to acknowledge it because. Mm. 
Um, I mean, Shatawali has a relationship with her. I want to believe that it would get to her somehow. So I'm hoping that it is. Really sure he has. I'm hoping that it is nice enough. I'm pretty sure he has a relationship with her. I'm hoping that it would be nice enough for her to acknowledge it, and maybe when the share would be happy. But for whatever reason, I, I, it's not the biggest thing for question. me. But I'm happy mm -hmm. for them. Do you believe Shadowale will pick up his phone and call Beyonce directly? I don't know. I don't care. I don't like think that. it's possible. I don't think it's what well, that is the for the so kind of for the it. kind of life Beyonce lives. That could be for almost a lot Everybody, of people, yeah. right? And it, it wouldn't mean that so you, you there is no, it wouldn't mean that there is no way to reach her. Yeah. Yeah, probably through our manager. Well, no. It's not that deep, be fair. You, cannot, you won't deep. be in Beyonce's so, so shoes so and have everybody's you, phone if number. If I cannot call somebody directly, I don't have a relationship with the person. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. But the way you said it, like, I'm pretty sure he has a relationship. He does have break. a relationship with her. They signed it a does. contract. They did a project. They did a song. They did, um, what's it called? They did a music video. He has a relationship with her. Whether or not the relationship is so close that they can eat breakfast together, it's a different after, conversation. Maybe after the song is gone a little bit further and then I see a Shadow Wally in America and he's chilling with Beyonce, they're not well, they don't have to be say. best friends, so she does that with everybody else. It's okay, okay. Me, I'm yeah. sure looking forward to the single, but moving on, okay, Kylie no. Jenner is number one. I just on give you the highlight of the single, Come Forbes on. top Thank earning. Kylie Jenner is number one on Forbes top earning famous females. Um, the list has Kylie Jenner on number one, of course, and Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, J.K. Rowling, Billie Eilish, um, Kim Kardashian, George Judy, Jennifer Lopez, and Pink. Pink is who shocked me. Yeah. It shocked it, it, it shocked you. It shocked my entire being. Because Why do? Babe isn't in terms of popularity. I feel like it, if anything, it's declined. Like when I was much younger, she used to be really up there with the buzz. I think it, it, it just keeps reminding me that buzz and cash is not the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I was really shocked by that. But I'm happy. I mean, she's a hardworking person. Weren't super you? Weren't you surprised at the number um, Kim Kardashian occupied? Okay, I was surprised that Billie Eilish mm -hmm. is more loaded mm -hmm. than Kim Kardashian. That mm -hmm. that one. I am that shocked. Me. <laughs> uh, and I was really happy for that. J.K. Rowling is the only person on that list that isn't necessarily shocking. Surprising. Shocking, mm -hmm. yes, because uh, although she's not in the necessarily like in the entertainment industry per se, and she's an author, she's quite because the, uh, the book has not entered movies and stuff. So we can we can call her our colleague. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's something that I'm always happy about to see that there's kind of like a diversity, sort of you know, in the mm -hmm. Forbes list or whatever. Then the other person, um, Judy, I had to go and research her because I had no idea really? mm -hmm. who that was. Um, so, good list. Kylie being up there again is not surprising because she's been there before. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, am I going to say that I, I get why she's there? Not really. But, I mean, she's making her money. So I like to relate to people at the top. So, I'm just probably going to be talking about Kylie. The landslide. Was if amazing. Even Pink please, is please, at please, the top please, at please, this please, point. Please, but please. go on. Ah, let's, mm -hmm. let allow, allow. What? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're not at the top. Okay. But I'm talking about the landslide. These people are talking about... They're not even hundreds. <laughs> Do you understand? Even the second is not even in the hundred. Kylie is five hundred million dollars ahead of number two. Ellie. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's like a landslide. And I just want to say that is really, really amazing. No matter what you want to say about Kylie, yes, yeah, some would say she's not self made, yes, yeah, she's privileged, she's this, she's that. Yes, yeah, it's cool. It's cool, so she's but she's winning. Mm -hmm. But she's winning. But she's winning. Of course, that's she's all winning. I want to say. And she's congratulations winning. Congratulations to no matter what they try to take you out of WAP, they try to take you out of this, they try to do all of that to you. But it's, it's not that deep. It's, it is that deep for me because she is winning, and I really appreciate her. And I just want to say big shout out to you, man. Keep proving them wrong, and I hope mm. I get to that position where I prove everybody wrong as well. Thank you. Fighting with <laughs> my guy. I'm not fighting with nobody. That's what you see. That's what you see. It's just a lot of hate, but it's cool. Who is hating you? No, no. I'm just saying that it's no. It's not about you now. It's not about so you. You have a lot of viewers that hate you. Not viewers, of course. My viewers so, love me. Okay, so yeah. it's just three of us here and no, viewers. So what do you think? About a lot of hate for Kylie. I'm talking about a lot of hate. It's just a you lot of hate. You just said people. now that you want to prove people wrong as well. You get to that point and prove people okay, wrong. So why why you prove, wrong. Okay, so me trying to prove people wrong. Why do you think I'm fighting myself? Now that's what I'm saying. Calm down. Why do you think I'm but it's not about coming down it's just about i don't know how people see motivation the way you get motivated the way you get motivated is totally different from so the way kylie I get motivated, motivated you so if my blood is if my motivational spirit is blood hot blood i will let it be hot i'm motivated so whenever you get like this you're motivated mm -hmm. motivational speaker right now inspire to aspire to perspire to respire and don't expire 
All right. Let's have, let's this has episode. definitely been an interesting episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057119 or Twitter at WhatsApp plus TV Africa. But thank you as always you go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shonke on the entire production team. Thank you for watching and of course you can catch up on this conversation on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin. To stay safe. <laughs>